Okay, so here we have uh, two upgrades for the iMac G4. Probably about the only two upgrades that are actually uh, or would be considered uh, user um, doable. That's not the right word, but you know what I mean. Um, from Apple's point of view, anyway, these are the only two things they would really expect you to uh, delve inside the machine and replace or uh, insert. So. Uh, there they are, stick RAM, Airport Extreme, here's the iMac, uh, let's get going. Okay, so I've got the uh, iMac tipped up, resting on a pillow <laughs> on the bed. Um, this is about the only way to do it, I think that's pretty much what Apple will recommend. Um, have a screwdriver, which I've just tested that fits, and basically just need to take these screws out so um, I won't bore you with that I'll do that and uh, we'll see what's underneath uh, really nice little touch actually I've just undone these screws and they're all captive so no no chance of losing them uh, they're all just going to stay nicely in place as I say really nice touch um, I doubt a PC from sort of 10 years ago would uh, would have that um, remove that the uh, no, uh, people make uh, clocks out of these, which uh, I guess if the machines had it um, and you've just got the case, then that's not a bad use of it. But kind of like to keep the machine uh, the machines going if I can. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. So that's where the airport card should go. Got the antenna cable there and a spare sodium slot there. Um, there is another memory slot actually inside the machine if I was to take these out etc. Um, that's a full size DIMM so weirdly it's got one of each. Um, but if I do that then apparently you need to reapply thermal paste to the inside of the machine. Um, so I'm going to avoid that for now because um, it just sounds like too much hassle. So let's put the uh, upgrades in. Okay, so there we are. I've uh, just uh, slotted the airport card in place and uh, attached the uh, antenna cable and clicked the memory module into place. That's a one gig memory module, which should be the largest it'll take. You can put obviously a one gig in the uh, internal slot as well to give it two. That has only got 256 in there at the moment, so it's going to have one and a quarter gig, which eh, it should do for now. Um, it's going to be better, much, much better than it was. So. Um, okay, let's get the lid back on. Okay, so uh, I haven't bored you with the boot up. Um, booted the machine up, it's booted, uh, which is a good sign to start with. And we've got the RAM. Um, I've already seen that we've got the airport card because it popped up and said a new airport card has been discovered. Um, that should hopefully be here somewhere. Yep. So we, if we apply that somewhere, I can't remember in Tiger, it's showing up uh, at the top, but um, there we go. So we can see networks. I'll uh, shove a password in there and we should be good to go on Wi-Fi. So pretty successful, I think. Um, obviously the big reason to get uh, more RAM in there was uh, to get Leopard on here because there's no way that was going to work with 256. So one and a quarter should uh, it should cope with that pretty well, I think, or reasonably well. Um, so we'll try it and uh, and see. Um, okay, well there we go. Just a quick video on upgrading an iMac G4. Um, not really much else we could do without ripping the whole thing apart. Might do that at some point. Put the uh, put another one gig in. Uh, bring it up to two, and I suppose I could replace the uh, optical drive with the super drive. Um, not likely to use it anyway, so probably don't really matter. But whilst you're in there, probably would be worth doing. Um, and I think that's pretty much all you could do. Um, okay, thanks very much. Bye.